Hello, and in this video we're going to use Onshape to make the pin slider block. Uh, to do this, we'll start with the base, uh, then we'll do the upper portion, uh, we'll shape our edges, add a fillet, and then add our counterboy hole in the bottom. Uh, so I've already started my pot project, uh, and we're just going to start a sketch. I'm going to go on the front to do the bottom of this piece. Uh, if we look back at it, we can see the bottom is 0.375 tall by 1.75 long. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to start a rectangle. I'll start on the origin. Uh, I'll restart it and start it on the origin this time, hopefully. And we'll go 1.75 by 0.375. And that gives us our rectangle. I'll hit the green check to accept. And then we'll extrude it out a distance of the depth is 0.375. So change that depth to 0.374. Enter. Uh, that gives us our base. Then I'm going to do a sketch on the top of that plate. So I'm going to turn to my top view. And it's just going to be a rectangular shape. So we want a rectangle on top. And we want it 0.141 from either edge. So I'm going to hit my rectangle. I'm going to make sure I start just on the line, not at the midpoint, not at the corners. And go over to the opposite side. Again, no midpoint, no origin. I'm just going to dimension from each side to the outside as 0.141. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, I could use an equal tool or something like that, but since I'm already in dimension, I'll just use a dimension. I hit the green check to accept, and then we'll extrude it. Hit extrude, hit inside that rectangle, and go up. Uh, this time it doesn't give us the distance, so I'm just going to have on shape do the math for us. 0.813 minus 0.375. So I'm going to go 0.813 minus, minus 0.375. And it does the math for us and creates that shape. Uh, next, I'm going to chafer these edges. So I'm going to hit, hit this tool. I'm going to select those four corners on each side. Uh, it's going to pop up a warning while I do it. That's okay because my value is going to change. Then I'll come over on the back side and select those same four on this side and then do the last uh, edge by turning my object and making sure to get that size. I'll set my value to 0.125 like it says on the diagram and then hit my green check to accept. Uh, next, I need to fill it to make that rounded portion. You can see it's rounded along that edge. So I'm going to fill it that to 0.25. So I'm going to go back to my on shape. I'm going to hit the fillet tool, and I'm going to do this long edge here. So I'm going to hit this long edge and select 0.25 as my value, and then I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to select that long edge and 0.25 as my value. Uh, finally, I need a hole. Uh, the hole comes from the bottom. If we look back, hole starts from the bottom. And it's a counter boy. You can see the symbol. It looks like a staple almost. It tells us it's got diameter of 0.165 that goes all the way through. And a counter boy of 0.177 that goes 0.633. So pretty deep into it. Uh, so we'll go back to our object. Uh, to locate it, I'm going to do a sketch and just find the middle of that object. So I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to add two construction lines. So construction line, go from midpoint to midpoint horizontally across. Uh, I'm going to hit escape and then another construction line uh, midpoint to midpoint straight across. You can see it's fully constrained, it's black. Hit my green check to accept and then I'm going to use my hole tool to make the hole. Uh, I want to select make connectors and then I'm going to select the middle of my object. Uh, the type of hole I need is a counter bore. It's going to go all the way through we said. Uh, we want to customize the size of it, so we're going to look back, 0.165 is our diameter, the counterboard diameter is 0.177, we got that set, and our distance is going to be 0.633, so 0.633. Once you have those set, you hit your green check to accept, and it makes that hole in our object. Uh, so that's how you create your pin slider block. Hopefully this helps you to create that object. Uh, good luck.